Hi guys, Transport RC here. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I repaired my MJX X103W drone's motor. As you know, um, my motor, one of my motors burned out after six flights. I actually contacted MJX about it. I forgot to show you guys in my other videos, but they didn't respond to any of my emails. So I am wondering if like this company is actually kind of a scam or not. Cause you know, companies are supposed to respond to your emails and they post an email on their website, but they never respond to you. They never get back to you. So that's very weird. So basically in this video that you're seeing right now, I'm just unscrewing the mode, uh, unscrewing the screws for the drone. As you can see, I have um, placed some paper, paper which says A, B, A, B on the arm of the drone. That's just because I am planning to, I was plan, I was planning to solder the, um, the new motor to the motherboard so if you do that you don't want to get the directions of the propellers confused so that's why i did that but as you can see um later on in the video that actually didn't happen because this drone is like a complete mess inside i tried opening the up the drone and there were so many wires and you couldn't actually solder the motor in onto the mother a motherboard because the soldering part for the motor was actually upside down so you had to like unscrew the whole motherboard and there was like a hundred cables in there and it would have just been such a pain to put the drone back together so i just basically did it the cheap way and i will show you guys how i did it so basically the first part of the video is just me unscrewing the drone and then realizing that it is basically impossible to fix the drone by soldering the drone together by sorry by soldering the motor to the motherboard so basically i just did it another way and i'll show you guys how i did it found out that it was basically impossible to solder the motor onto the motherboard I just did it the old-fashioned way where you basically cut the wires and then you twine the new ones and the old you, you twine the new wires and the old wires together so electricity can flow through uh, so don't try this at home. I used a, a match um, to burn the uh, rubber seals around the wires. Just because I didn't have the scissors to actually, special types of scissors to actually cut the wires. So I just burnt it and then just pulled the uh, rubber off to expose the wires. And then I just got the wires and then i just twined them basically what twining is is you just get the two wires from the two different sides and then you just twist them until they're tight after that you get some tape or you basically get some tape i use just use basic sticky tape just because it's a very cheap drone there was no need to get some really good tape to hold the uh, mode to hold the wires together sticky tape did the job so after that you just got to get the sticky tape and you just wrap the tape around the wires so the wires don't come loose 
And also, don't forget when you're twining the wires that you twine the wires with, with the right color. So if the wires are white, you twine it with the white wire. And if the wires are red, then you twine it with the red wires. Because if you don't, then the motors will actually spin the opposite direction. And that will basically screw up the drone. The drone can't fly because the motors turn clockwise and counterclockwise. And you always want the motors to turn the right direction. After that, you just basically need to put the motor back into its cradle which is actually pretty easy but for the wires it actually took me 10 to 15 minutes to put the wires back into the arm of the drone just cause after the repair the as you can see in the image the wires are longer so you kind of just got to try and stuff the wires into the arm of into the arm and then slowly close it and after you close it you just got to get one screw and clamp it down so just take some time don't rush this step cause it will take some time just cause there's so, there's so little space in the arm that it will take a while to actually stuff all the wires into the arm of the motor without damaging any of the wires. Finally you screw all the screws back onto the drone. Uh, as you can see in the video I actually used a flashlight just cause it was kind of dark I was doing it in the evening so it was kind of dark so it's really hard to see because the screws are very small the screws are pretty bad quality so just be careful don't use too much force Cause the top of the uh the phillip head of the screw could actually kind of shred off so just take care there so i'll see you guys at the end of the video where i do some tests Okay, so now I am basically just turning on the drone to see if everything turns on and to see if everything's working properly. Uh, these cheap drones, they should, um, they tell you to do a compass calibration every time for some reason, which I don't really know why. So I got to do a compass calibration. So just look at the bottom left hand corner of the, of your screen, because that is the repaired motor. Basically, I haven't put the propellers on yet. I just want to test if the motor actually spins. So after I've tested that the motor spins, then I'll put the propellers on and see if I've actually um, put the propeller up, um, installed the motors the right way. So it's actually spinning the direction that it should be. So I also got a video in slow mo, so you guys can see the uh, motors, uh, motors and propellers spinning. So as you can see, as you can hear actually, the motors actually do work. So then I put the propellers on and all four propellers are spinning okay. They're spinning at full speed. And then with the slow-mo, if you also look at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you can see that the uh, repaired motor is working fine. So therefore the repair is done. Afterwards, I will be doing an outdoor flight test in the coming days to see if the drone works properly, if the flight characteristics are fine, any glitches with the drone because of the repair. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for that video in the next week or so. So guys, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.